All right, welcome to my Meowda skin gameplay and review. So this is the tier 100 skin in the battle pass. I guess it's not really tier 100, but it's the last one that you can unlock. And I had a few requests to do a gameplay and review on this. In particular, can he change weapons to gold like Midas? All right, so let's take a look at him in the locker real quick. It says he's one classy cat. And obviously this is a merge between Midas and Meowsles. So he does have reactivity on the skin, which turns him solid gold. And you can turn that off, which is a nice touch. He also has a super level style, but obviously you have to unlock that. And then you can also switch, as mentioned, to the Shadow Meowdus. So I do like that they included the Ghost version as well as the Shadow version. But they kind of mixed it up a bit because the Ghost version looks like his Shadow clothing. And then the Shadow one looks like his Ghost clothing. So that's an interesting take. I like it though. It looks pretty sweet. I think it's a pretty good merger between the two skins. They did a good job here. And he pretty much has an entire ensemble that you can equip, which is good. So the back bling is called the Feline Dagger. And it says for the classy cat on a mouse hunt. And it also has the shadow version. So it's good that they incorporated the secondary style into the accessories as well. Let's see if it holds true for the pickaxe, the gilded filet. And it does. So that's awesome. Some skins don't do that and it's really frustrating. And even the glider, I believe, can change into the shadow version. Let's just see. It sure can. Such an awesome deploy. An explosion up top. Silver or gold. And this one says, a fearsome sky chum. He does have one emote, the Purr Demonium, and it is not copyrighted. Plays the awesome cat song. <laughs> I like that. And then the rap is called Golden Grin, and it is reactive. I believe it turns solid gold based on the limbs as well. We're going to find out, though. Now, before I get into the actual review, let's do a quick comparison to the Season OG Tier 100 skin, which is none other than Omega Rock. So who did it better is basically what I'm asking. Fortnite Remix or Season OG? So they both have the same concept in mind, and that's to merge two skins from the same chapter together. So obviously this was the Omega skin, which was a Tier 100, as well as the Ragnarok skin, which also was Tier 100. And this one is Meowsles and Midas. So Midas was Tier 100, but Meowsles was in the same battle pass, and you had to reach level 60. So let's look at the styles on Omega Rock. So he had the Ragnarok style. And then the Harbinger Armor Omega Rock. So this is the Omega version, and this is the Ragnarok version. He also had one super level style, which was this gold and white. So that's similar to Meowdus. However, he also has five different color schemes, which affects both skins. So here's the red, here's the green, here's the purple, and my personal favorite, the orange. So not as flashy on the Ragnarok style, but when you put the Harbinger on, then check this out, the colors get exponentially better. Now the only drawback to this skin are the massive horns on the skull. But you could remove those if you don't like that style with the Omega Rock style. And here's what the golden white version of the Harbinger one looks like. And that also was affected by the color change. So overall, I gotta go with Omega Rock being the better skin. It just has far more customization than what we see here. Yes, this one does have reactivity, which the Omega Rock one doesn't have. It still has a super level style, which is also cool. You just can't change the color. I mean, you can change the style of it to match the style of your skin. But again, I think this one has far more customization. Now, will Meowdus play better in terms of, say, aim down sights and accessories and things like that? Well, that's what I'm going to find out right now in the review. So let me know in the comments right now, which one do you think is the better tier 100 skin? Fortnite Remix or Season OG. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at the glider, the Skelly Shark. So that is a phenomenal deploy. The skeleton of the shark comes swerving in, takes a bite, and then it turns into a surfing glider, and you can see the awesome gold contrail. Check that out. That is one of the better gliders we've got in a long time, I think. It's not too bulky either. Okay, here we go. Let's take a peek at what we got going on here. So the end of his tail has a little bit of gold on it to start with. And I believe his hands do as well. Let's take a look from the front. Yeah. His hands are golden. His grenades are golden. And look, they're little mice too. They're mice grenades. That is so cool. All right, let's take a look at the pickaxe. I'll be quiet. We'll do the pullout sound and the swing animation. Here we go. Okay. 
Okay, so I was not anticipating that Contra. That's nice. A nice golden sparkly effect. And when you do withdraw it, it's got that little fish chain on it. You can kind of hear that. It rattles just a little bit. So nice attention to detail there. Let's see the back bling. That golden mouse in there does kind of move when you jump up and down, as does his tail. So some pretty good physics there. How about his aim down sights? Let's take a look. Hey, that's not bad. For being a bulky skin, that's actually really clean. Here's the crouch. Yeah, I'm very impressed with that all around. Looks pretty good. Doesn't have much hair on his head. But now that I think about it, I don't... Does Midas? I don't know. I'd have to look. Let's see if there's a splash with the pickaxe. Of course there is. A nice golden splash. Looks like some flakes come off of there as well. It's the diagonal slash too. That's my favorite. All right, let me try it against my friend here. We'll turn off the lights too. Let's see. Okay, that looks good. Nice golden splash. How about some secret reactivity on the weak spots? No, nope, nothing doing there. And again, there's the splash at night. All right, so the wrap is supposed to be reactive, as is the skin. So let me get a few of limbs here and see what happens. I'm going to focus. Well, you know what? Let's just aim in and see what happens. Okay, so you could see both in full display there. So the end of the weapon turned a little gold, and it looks like not much on the skin, just one of my arms and a little bit of my side. A little bit of the front, too. And you can see the paw prints, which is a nice touch. Doesn't look like anything changed with the tail, though, so that's one. Here's two. So it looks like it might only take three of limbs. Boy, that is a bright gold, too. Doesn't look like the back bling changes at all, though. He's going to look pretty solid as a fully gold skin. Here we go, number three. We should be fully encased in gold now. And we sure are. It is from the front. So the back bling still looks good with this, as does the pickaxe. Let's see what it looks like in the dark. Ooh, that's a more real gold color scheme right there. It's just a little bright in the daylight, but that looks solid. Very clean. So that's pretty good. Okay, so it looks like I can't not be gold now. I might have to restart the match, but you can see without the back bling, it's just okay. I feel like the back bling does add a little bit more to the character. Okay, so now the ghost version, or rather, I guess it's the shadow version in the ghost attire. So you can see subtle changes on the glider. It's now a nice white and black color scheme, and even the deploy splash there has changed to a silver white. I like that. So like I said earlier, they don't always do this for styles, and it really is frustrating when you're making a combo. So I am 100% satisfied with this, that they at least consider doing it. All right, let's take a look at the pickaxe. So now it has the silver sparkles. That's amazing too. He's got like the pinstripes on his pants, almost like a baseball player pants. I don't know. I kind of like the shadow version a little bit more. And the back bling has been shadow ghosted as well. That's not bad. See the splash here. Yeah, nice silver. Everything flows perfectly. Good splash there. Well, I turned the reactivity off because he would always be gold since I already achieved that. Let me just get in a limb and see if anything special happens with the reactivity off. What the? I turned gold. I wasn't supposed to turn gold. The reactivity's off. That's interesting. I wonder if that's a glitch or just a custom glitch here. I'll have to try a real match and see. I'll turn the reactivity off and get a few of limbs. Yeah, I should not have turned gold there. And I 100% did. Okay, well, this is the wrap on the wrap skin. And again, because I already got a few eliminations, it's already gold. So this is what it looks like fully gold. 
and it's not too bad, especially if you make a awesome combo with the gold color scheme. If you're looking for a phenomenal looking wrap, this is it. Now remember, you do have to get at least three limbs to achieve the fully gold effect. But once there, it looks pretty good. Here's the emote, golden pan as well, and a spoon. <laughs> it's a catchy song. Nice remix of the original. Okay, so now I'm going to hop into a real match. So I have reactivity turned off. I should not turn gold. And as you saw in my custom map, I did. So we're going to see if that's a glitch or not. Now, the other thing I have to test is in regards to his golden touch. So as you should be aware, with most Midas skins, like Ascendant Midas and even Shadow Midas and the original Midas, when you run that skin and you pick up a weapon, it will change the wrap automatically. So for this Midas, it turns it gold automatically. For this one, it turns it green. For this one, it turns it purple, regardless of what wrap you equip. So the real question is, does that happen with Meowdus? Because he's part Midas, does it work? And to check that theory, we have to put a different wrap on. So let's put a real bright wrap like this, brave and bright. We're gonna equip that for everything here. So that's what it should look like when I pick up a weapon. But again, if he has that secret touch, then it's not going to look like that, and we'll see what it is going to look like. All right, so let's hop into a match and check this out and see what happens. Oh, look at the bottom of his shoes. I didn't even notice that. It's pretty cool. Once again, a beautiful combo here. I love the glider. Very impressed with this Tier 100 skin. I know a lot of people are like, eh, I'm not really a fan of it. Don't really like Meowsels. I love Midas, but not him. All right, here we go. Let's pick up a weapon and see what happens. Remember, we have the bright wrap on. And look at that. That is his own wrap. So that is interesting. So let's see if it's still reactive. We got to get in the limb and see if the wrap starts changing to gold again. Yeah, 100%. Everything is the wrap that comes with him. Even though you clearly saw, I did not have that selected. Someone's right next to me here. All right, these guys are about to fight here. Okay, again, my skin should not turn gold, remember. Wait, did I get them both? Or just one? Okay, so you can see the wrap did change. Wait, no, this guy's still alive. What the... Okay, so not only does he still have the golden touch with his original wrap, it is reactive still, as you see. That's crazy. But, as you also saw, I did not turn gold, so the reactivity off does work. That must have been a glitch with my custom map for some reason. I don't know. Very cool, though. So, 100% confirmed he does have the golden touch, but you gotta earn it, because it just defaults to his wrap no matter what. Oh, the legacy tech? Oh my gosh! You know, I'm gonna try that out. I don't know if this is any good or not. Jeez Louise, this gun shreds! All right, the gizzard. So there you go. That is Mr. Meowdus. Like I said, a pretty decent tier 100 skin. Despite all the hate that I saw around it, I think it's a pretty good skin. I would definitely run this two clean styles and I had no issues with anything about aim down sights or anything like that. The reactivity is pretty sweet, which you can toggle on and off. That's a great effect. And as you saw, he does have the touch. It just turns his weapons into his own wrap, which eventually upon three limbs will turn solid gold. So it doesn't matter what wrap you run on this skin, you will always get the golden grin. So there you go. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about Mr. Meowdus? Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter grader code, which is TaberTime.